بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الوحدۃ السادسہ سکس یونٹ الصلاۃ دا پریئر الدرس الثانی والخمسون ففٹی سیکنڈ لیسن التدریب الثانی سیکنڈ ایکسرسائز تبادل الحوالا مع زمیلک ایکسچینج دا ڈائلاگ ود یور کولیگ کما فی المثال لائک ان دا ایگزامپل المثال دی ایگزامپل الطالب الاول haza azanul asr this is the azan of asr talib asani hayya bina ila al masjid let's go to the masjid at talib alawwal ana usalli fil bayt i pray at home at talib asani salli fil masjid Pray in the mosque. So here basically you will, two words are written. So you need to make sentences for this. The first person will always say, this is the azan of that. And second person will say, let's go to the mosque. He will say, I will pray at home. Then he will say, first person or second person will say, pray in the mosque. So here the first person will say, this is the azan of fajr. Haza azan al-fajr. Second person will say, let's pray in the mosque or pray in the mosque. Salli fil masjid. Then the first person will say, I pray at the, in the apartment. Salli fil shakka. Then the second person will say, Salli uh, pray in the Mosque. Here I have made the mistake in the second one. I think in English the sentence was uh, let's go to the mosque. So you say Hayya bina ilal, ilal masjid. Yes, Hayya bina ilal masjid. Okay, so here first person will say this is the azan of Zuhur. Haza azan of Zuhur. Second person will say let's go to the masjid. Hayya bina ila al-masjid. First person will say, I pray in the school. Usalli fil madrasa. Second person will say, pray in the school, mosque. Salli fil masjid. First person. This is the azan of maghrib. Haza azan al-maghrib. Second person will say, let's go to the mosque. Hayya bina ila al-masjid. First person, I pray in the room. Ana usalli fil ghurfa. Second person, pray in the mosque. Salli fil masjid. In this way, you will make this by hiding the example. At-tadribu salis, third exercise, hati jumalan kama fil misal. Bring sentences like in the example. Al-Misal, the example. Asma'u azan al-fajri fil bayt. I hear the azan of fajr at home. Atawadda'u fil hamam. I make wudu in the bathroom. Wa usalli al-fajra fil masjid. And I pray the fajr in the mosque. So this time you need to make the complete sentence using these two words. I hear the azan of fajr at home. I make wudu in the bathroom and I pray in the mosque. So here you will see. I hear the zuhur azan in the school. Asma'u azan zuhuri fil madrasa. I make wudu in the bathroom. Atawadda'u fil hammam. I pray Zohar in the mosque. Usalli Zohara fil masjid. So in this way you need to make three sentences for each picture. I hear the azan of Asr in the apartment. Asma'u azan al-asri fi shakka. I make wudu in the bathroom. Atawadda'u fil hammam. I pray the Asr in the mosque. 
Anna usallil asra fil masjid. In this way you will do it. At tadribu rabi fourth exercise tabadalil hiwara ma zamilik kama fil misal. Exchange the dialogue with your colleague like in the example. Al misal the example. Talibul Awal Aina to Sallil Fajr. Where do you play the Fajr? Usallil Fajra fil Masjidi Tariq. I play the Fajr in the Masjid Tariq. Waina to Salli Ant. And where do you play? Usalli fi Masjidi Yasir. I play in the Masjid Yasir. Now here he will ask the question, where do you pray the Zuhur? Aina to sell Zuhur. Second person, I pray in the Masjid Bilal. Usall is Zuhura fi Masjid Bilal. And where do you pray? Wa Aina to sell Ant. He will reply, I pray in the Masjid Faisal. Usal Zohra fi Masjid Faisal. Next, he will ask, Where do you pray in the Asr? Aina to Sallil Asr. Second person, Usallil Asr fi Masjid Sukh. And where do you pray? Aina to Sallil Ant. He will reply, Usalli film fi masjid al hayy. I pray in the neighborhood mosque. In this way, you will do it. At the dream al khamis, fifth exercise, Ajiban al asilat al taliya, answer the following questions. So, these questions are written for male. So, if you are a male, you will just uh, write their answers here directly. But if you are a female, then first you need to write the question for female. So for female student, we'll write the question. Hal Do you wake up late? Then she will answer according to her. So let's suppose she wake up, wakes up early. She will say, La astaykizu mubakkiran. Then the female student will write the question. Hal tasma'ina azan al-fajr? Do you hear the fajr azan? Then she will reply. Naam asma'u azan al-fajr. Hal tusallina al-fajr fil bayt? Do you pray the fajr at home? Naam usallil al-fajr fil bayt. Yes, I pray the Fajr at home. Male question will write the answer directly, but female will write the question. Aina to salli nazzuhura wal asr. Where do you pray the zuhur and the asr? Usalli zuhura wal asra fil masjid. Aina to salli nal maghrib wal isha. Where do you pray the Maghrib and Isha? Usallil Maghrib wal Isha fil bayt or fil masjid. In this way, you female students will make changes to this question, then she, they will answer according to their daily routine, daily life. Let's skip this question. Skip this one as well. Here you need to join at Tadribu Salis. Third exercise, Silbain al Jumlati was Suratil Munasiba. Join the sentence and the appropriate picture. Anta Musa Fironila, Turkia. You are traveling to Turkey. So here you will join it with Turkey. Huwa Musa Fironila, Makkah. He is traveling to Makkah. Anti Musa Fidatunila, Mr. You are traveling to Egypt. In this way, you will join them. At the Rabi, 
Fourth exercise. Sil baina suwali wal jawab. Join the question and the answer. Aina tu sallil juma. Where do you pray the juma? So we can say fil masjid al haram in the masjid al haram. Halanta marid. Are you sick? La. Anna bi khair. No, I am fine. Ila aina anta musafir. Where are you traveling? Ila makka. To makka. In this way, you need to join them. Al wahdatu sadisa. As salah. And darsu salisu al khamsun. At Tadribul Khamis, fifth exercise, Ikra il Fikrata Summa Ajibanila Sila. Read the paragraph, then answer the questions. Salmanu min Turkiya, Huwa Turki. Salman is from Turkey, he is Turkish. Salmanu musafirun ila makkata lis salati fil masjid al haram. Salman is traveling to Makkah to pray in the masjid al haram. Huwa musafirun ila makkata bil hafila. He is traveling to Makkah by bus. Salmanu sayusalli fil masjid al haram mis salawat al khamsa al fajra wal zuhra wal asra wal maghriba wal isha. Sulman will pray in the masjid al haram the five salah which are fajr, zuhur, asr, maghrib, and isha. Salmanu sayazhabu ilal madinati yawm al khamisi. Sayusallil jumu'ata jumu'ata fil masjid al nabawi. Inshallah. Salman will go to Madina on Thursday. He will pray the Friday in the Prophet Mosque if Allah wills. Now you need to write the answers. Min ayyi baladin Salman. From which country is Salman? Salmanu min Turkiya. Salman is from Turkey. Ma jinsiyatuhu. What is his nationality? Huwa Turki. He is Turkish. Ila aina huwa musafir. Where he is traveling to? Salmanu musafirun ila makkata lis salati fil masjid al haram. Hal huwa musafirun bis sayyara. Is he traveling by the car? The answer is no. La huwa musafirun bil hafila. La huwa musafirun bil hafila. In this way you will answer them. Tadrib Sadi sixth exercise Ikra il Fikra read the paragraph Summa da ala matasahihata au khata au khatia read the paragraph then put the check mark or cross mark Tariq yusal zohra wal asura fi masjidi usman وَيُسَلِّ الْمَغْرِبَ وَالْإِشَاءَ فِي مَسْجِدِ عَلِي Tariq prays the Zuhur and Asr in the Masjid Usman and he prays the Maghrib and Isha in Masjid Ali. Tariq يَدَاءُ الْمُنَبِّهَا بِجَانِبِهِ وَيَسْتَيْكِزُ مُبَكِّرًا وَيُسَلِّ الْفَجْرَ فِي الْمَسْجِدِ وَيَنَامُ بَعْدَ صَلَاةِ الْفَجْرِ Tariq puts the alarm clock beside him and he wakes up early and he prays the Fajr in the masjid and he prays after and he sleeps 
and he sleeps after the fajr salah tariq yusalli zuhra fi masjid usman tariq prays the zuhur in masjid usman answer is sahi al tariq yusalli al isha fi al bait tariq prays the isha at home the answer is khata Tariq Yusallil Fajra Fi Masjid Usman. Tariq prays the Fajr in Masjid Usman. Fajr. Here it is written Yusalli Fajra Fi Masjid, but it is not written which Masjid. So we can call it Sahih as well or wrong as well. So in this way you will do this question. Next, we have writing. You will just pass your pen on these letters to improve your writing again. You will write. Keep in mind that this ha will touch the line, but it will not go below the line. Okay. Write it like this. Then ta will also touch the line, but it will not go below the line. Then you will pass your pen on these to improve your writing. Then you will write like this. Ha, zal, alif. All these letters will touch the line, but they will not go below the line. Here, Alif, Lam, Ya will touch the line. Ha, half below the line, half above the line. Ra, slightly below the line like this. Makka, Meem, Kaf, Ta, Marbuta will touch the line, but they will not go below the line. Swad, Lam will touch the line, but this part of Lam will be slightly below the line. Alif will touch the line, Ta Marbuta will touch the line only. Then you will pass your pen on these to improve your writing. All of them except this one will touch the line, but they will not go below the line. And this one half below the line, half above the line. You can skip these two questions. You can skip this one as well. You can, you can, you need to move past your pen on these letters to improve your writing. Here, yeah, mouth above the line, rest part below the line. Same thing for Ali Maksura, mouth above the line and rest part below the line. You will pass your pen on these to improve your writing. Then you write these words here. Ayn, Lam will touch the line. Ya, half below the line. Jim, Dal will touch the line. Ya, mouth above, rest part below the line. Ya, Kaf will touch the line. Ra, slightly below the line. Hamza will touch the line. Alaikum, Ayn, Lam, Ya, Kaf will touch the line. Me mouth above touching the line and rest part below the line. Then you pass your pen on these to improve your writing. You can skip this one, you can skip this one, you can skip this one. Then which unit is this? Unit six. So this is the vocabulary of unit six. You need to write their meanings as well, okay? This is also your homework. Then we have question paper. Join the word in column Hamza with what is appropriate to column B. Taamun wa sharabun. Nahifun wa saminun. Shayun wa kahwa. In this way, you will join them. Da la mutl khati al kali mutl gariba. Put the X mark on the different word. So here, azan is different. You will put X mark on azan. Shai kawa jawan ma. Jawan is a garib, different word. So you will put X mark on jawan. Samak sharab jaj laham. Sharab is a different thing. So you will put X mark on sharab. Akmil Jumalata Bil Kalimatitalia complete the following sentences with the following words. Complete the sentences with the following words. Hal Tashrabu Shaya. 
لا افضل الكافة ما دا ما زات افضلو منت من الفاكهة التمرة ما زات تلوبينا من الطعام العرز والسمك In this way you will do it Sahih lakhta correct the mistakes Ma za tatlubu min al-taam ya Fatima Fatima is female So ma za tatlubina Here you will write Tatlubina Hal tashrabina shaya ya Ahmad Ahmad is male So you will write Hal tashrabu Hal tashrabu Aakulu salasa wajbatan fil yawm Salasa is three We need pulul word here Salasa wajbatin so in this way you will correct the mistakes. Akmil biwadil kalimat is sahiya mimma bainal kausain. Complete by putting the correct word from what is between the two brackets. Hal anti marida. Are you sick? Mari Fatma is female, so we need marida here. Ana zahibun ilal masjid. Aina tu sallil juma anta. Tu salli second person, so we are using anta here. Then you will read the paragraph and put the check mark or cross mark. Next time, inshallah, we'll start al Wahdatus. So you will submit your homework in Google Classroom. You can submit it to any of them. But lessons numbers are mentioned here there. So you better uh, upload your homework in the Google Classroom according to the lesson number. See you all next time, inshallah. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم مع السلامة